Well, let's, let's start in a positive way is that the ministers of environment concluded that Europe is open to step in a continuation of the Kyoto Protocol. That is a positive thing. But the negative side is that there are a lot of conditions where they say we only are in favor of continuing Kyoto if the other countries are joining in. And then we are in the same situation that we all wait for each other. And the problem is we want to move now. And I think Europe has to be far more clear that they want to continue Kyoto Protocol. I think what is very important also to state is continuation of Kyoto Protocol is one thing, but also very clear what kind of rules are we are we using in the second phase of the Kyoto Protocol. And if Europe is the only one in a continuation of Kyoto, then we are the ones who decide on the rules. And if you now look in all the loopholes in the current Kyoto Protocol, especially the hot air, right, so all the emissions that are already being achieved are still being sold to other countries. As long as you have all those rules still in the Kyoto Protocol Phase 2, then there will be no achievement for the climate, but more kind of trading in hot air. So really, environmental integrity of the Kyoto Protocol in its second phase is crucial as well. So continue, yes, but with better rules. What you see now in the debate around Durban is, is narrowing down to only this question. Are we continuing Kyoto, yes or not? But the biggest problem is, if you look at the targets we all agreed upon, two degrees Celsius is the maximum climate change we want to see. And if you now look at all the pledges on the table, including from Europe, this meager 20%, it's absolutely not enough to achieve two degrees. So if Europe really wants to achieve two degrees, we have to take the lead, step up our climate ambitions now, take the lead and make sure the others one are joining in. Otherwise, two degrees will never be achieved and the climate will be far worse off than now already because science is becoming clearer every day. If we don't take actions, climate change will become a big threat for all of us.